Okay, let's move to the next presentation. Now we have uh, uh, Kevin Non speaking on recent progress on industry ready and low cost metallization solutions for heterojunction solar cells. So he is representing the metallization segment of uh, heterojunction, which is of course very important in terms of uh, performance as well as in cost. So Kevin is vice president of technology at uh, marketing at DKM. He holds a master degree on in polymer materials. Kevin has uh, contributed to several peer reviewed scientific papers on opto electronic materials and devices. His strong technology and marketing background in silicon and novel solar cells and their metallization techniques. Um, his prior experience with DuPont uh, is also uh, uh, important because now uh, whose metallization wing is now also part of the DKM. So Kevin, the virtual yes. conference floor is yours. Okay. Let me share my screen. Yeah, please. Okay, can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, let me get started. Hello everyone, this is Kevin Nan uh, from DKEM. Uh, it's a great honor to talk with you guys here to discuss about the recent progress on uh, industry ready and low cost metallization solutions for HAD solutions. Uh, here is just a one page to give a brief introduction to DKEM. Actually, DKEM is founded in Wuxi, China in uh, uh, 2010. It's a, a DKEM is just a 10 years uh, young company. And during the 10 years the past, uh, 10 past years, we are uh, dedicated to becoming our leading uh, electronic materials. Uh, right now, uh, DKEM is ranking global top three uh, suppliers in photovoltaic metallization uh, sector. And uh, fortunately, and luckily, uh, DKM was listed a uh, uh, Chinese company in silver place sector uh, uh, in last year. And uh, to our business, we are focused on uh, photovoltaic metallization and uh, semiconductor packaging uh, by deliver a high performance silver paste and uh, electronic adhesives. And our uh, metalliz uh, metallization solutions, uh, we give strong metallization solutions uh, to uh, PBSF, PPERC, uh, Topcon, HJT, and uh, Backcon Tech Technologies. This page uh, is uh, just a brief to the uh, next generation sources, which was widely discussed in uh, past years, Topcon, HJT, who will be the winner for the next uh, uh, mainstream uh, technology. Actually, uh, for this page, what, we, I, uh, what I want to highlight is uh, the, the, the trend, technology trend to achieve uh, higher efficiency based on uh, higher uh, efficiency, uh, higher uh, cell technology is the advanced persuasion. We use different kind of uh, persuasion materials and the processes to achieve higher VOC then give the foundation for higher efficiency. But uh, we must know that uh, all the new uh, persuasion materials and the processes introduced to cell technology that will and definitely impact metallization significantly. And we here is the just a brief. In uh, BSF uh, cells, we have silicon nitrous side, and uh, we have aluminum oxide for PERC and uh, polysilicon uh, for top uh, That materials for uh, to achieve better uh, metallization effect, we need high temperature sintering steel paste. But to the HAT, uh, the passivation material is amorphous silicon. Uh, we need low temperature curing your paste. That's a uh, big difference. And uh, if you check the uh, red picture in this screen, you will find the latest update on the theoretical efficiency for Topcon and the HJT. It's quite similar. So uh, we, we cannot say that they have a, a very big, uh, di uh, big difference on theoretical efficiency. Uh, what we can do uh, for the whole industry is to achieve better cost of performance, the, the better uh, cost of performance, the, the, the bigger volume for this kind of technology. 
Uh, this uh, here we go straightforward to metallization and the HAT uh, directly. The left picture is the brief cost breakdown for HAT sources. As we all know, uh, metallization uh, cost is still very high. Here, almost around 25% is very uh, high ratio. And uh, I think everyone in the HAT sector is working on how to reduce the zero paste uh, consumption or reduce the metallization cost because it's almost uh, still almost three times three times the per front side zero paste is pretty high and we also recognize that the for low temperature cured zero paste after curing there are some organic and uh, additive re uh, reduce uh, steel stay uh, in the uh, grid line that will impact the model reliability uh, impact uh, reliability more than a uh, high temperature uh, zero paste uh, in perk. And uh, for the left picture, I want to emphasize is uh, if we want to reduce your metallization cost for HAT, uh, only uh, uh, if only uh, metallization vendor still make her to make efforts, that's not enough. We need a systematic thinking. The we need a, the the effort from equipment. A uh, paste vendor, cell maker. Most importantly, we need effort from module maker. During past years, we see very strong uh, attention from equipment vendors, cell makers. By the way, uh, but the attention is not good enough from uh, module makers. Uh, even for the tier one module makers, uh, looks they are still uh, they hesitate to make a decision uh, whether join the game uh, in. A JD sector or not, but anyway, I think they this is a vital factor to uh, accelerate metallization cost down for the whole industry. And uh, to further in, uh, re reduce the metallization cost, we have to introduce new interconnection technologies. So this will make the make the the, the difference to the value chain, since we there are still a lot of independent sale makers. So they needed a new value proposition in the HJT area because the barrier and the boundary between CL and module uh, that will become less and less. Uh, here is the uh, technical challenge for HJT uh, metallization. Here I list uh, the top five critical challenges from materials to process. And the number one is higher volume resistance, uh, resistivity. Uh, right now, zero paste uh, resistivity is still two or three times higher than high temperature paste. And for drying and curing time, we can check we can uh, check out it's very big difference for low temperature steel, uh, higher than twenty uh, or thirty min uh, minutes. For the uh, new approach, uh, still uh, longer than uh, ten minutes, but for high temperature, just less than two minutes. The other one is uh, printing speed part. Uh, printing speed for uh, uh for perk, we can easily go up to uh 450 milli millimeter per second, but for low temperature it's still around 250 millimeter per second. The big difference. The other one is the per aspect ratio. For high temperature, we uh, the fired finger is is right now uh, less than uh, 30 micro, but for low temperature curing paste still around 50 micro. The, almost 20 micro uh, difference. And for solderability, right now we, we in China, uh, still a lot of uh, model makers of HJD working on uh, soldering uh, technology. Uh, we can uh, see where the where difference, uh, different uh, uh, attaching were delivered. Uh, this is also a big gap. All those uh, top five uh, challenges we need to address. Uh, before we see uh, industrialization of HJT uh, uh, cell technology. Uh, here we, this is the first part. We want to discuss how to advance HJT metallization by a screen printing silver paste approach. This is very classic approach, uh, widely used for last 20 years. As we all know, the first challenge is high volume resistivity. So for paste vendors, to develop lower volume resistivity, 
the uh, fuel paste is the foundation to achieve higher efficiency and to achieve lower paste consump uh, consumption. This is a very critical one. And to paste itself, fuel powder selection and the curing behavior of organic system that can impact volume resistivity greatly. If you can, you check the left part, this picture, we, uh, this uh, simple uh, composition. Uh, we check out the uh, uh, industry uh, benchmark paste and our DK61, uh, 61A uh, finger paste. We compare the uh, volume resistivity at different uh, temperature and time. We can see uh, with four kind of uh, current conditions, DK61A should uh, lower volume resistivity. That will be the foundation for us to reduce uh, zero paste uh, uh, consumption uh, further. And for the uh, left uh, right SEM picture, you can check out that DK61A should very, uh, very, very, uh, should very good uh, finger morphology. This also the other fun, uh, foundation for us to uh, further reduce uh, zero paste consumption and also enable higher efficiency. You, you can check the uh, data in the this table. Uh, in the basic cases, we uh, achieved, uh, we, we demonstrated uh, almost uh, a 0.3 efficiency gain uh, in the uh, small testing. We are further uh, advanced this uh, uh, process and uh, want to see uh, more events again. Uh, here is the second challenge for the uh, printing speed. For printing speed, uh, because for lower uh, lower temperature uh, current paste, uh, we are use some uh, flag type of uh, server. And also the uh, current system is different uh, from the uh, high temperature uh, server paste. So all uh, both of them will impact the high speed printing capability. And in lab, we want to uh, study the uh, how to uh, uh, to get the, the difference in lab to see uh, the the performance on uh, with different uh, uh, printing speed. We introduce line resistance method to uh, try to uh, evaluate this uh, print quality. You can check when we use different uh, uh, printing speed. One is 200 millimeter per second, one is 350 millimeter per second. And both conditions, DK61A, uh, uh, should uh, lower line resistance. That means the better printing quality and also the, which was confirmed that the customer uh, on-site testing. So this is the, the second part we uh, work on. And the third one is what I want to emphasize today is the potential screen uh, printing technology. That means how far can we go with the classic screen printing zero paste system to advance HJD metallization? Uh, still, uh, you know, the, the first in, firstly, the important one is the lower resistivity. Uh, this is a foundation. Then we need to modify our paste, which can uh, work on the fine line printing. This is uh, very important. If you check out the uh, left uh, morphology uh, pictures, when we check out a uh, paste with uh, 22 microfinger opening, it demonstrates very uh, impressive uh, aspect ratio. Uh, for the uh, solid parts of the finger, it's less than uh, 30 micro. If we include all the, uh, the, the finger, I think it's still less than uh, 50 micro. It's a big uh, progress. This is for the uh, evergreen screen printing technology. The right part is we uh, test our paste on the emerging stencil technology, stencil printing technology. We also achieved the uh, finger width less than 40 micron. This is the all finger width, uh, not just the solid part. So here I want to say uh, with this uh, cl classic screen printing or uh, stencil printing, uh, zero paste technology, we still have a big room to reduce the zero paste consumption for HAD sources. The best and most importantly is this kind of method can reduce the uh, paste lay down, but at the same time, it can give us the higher, higher efficiency potential and the robust reliability performance. Uh, this is quite different from other uh, new uh, metallizing approaches for uh, HAT solar cells. 
Uh, here we go to the uh, uh, bus bar part. For bus bar, uh, you know, right now um, for H80, uh, still we, some of the modern makers are working on the uh, uh, soldering uh, interconnection. That means we need a very good uh, suitability uh, for uh, bus bar paste. Always, uh, we, we all know that it's always a big challenge for a low temperature sewer paste to uh, achieve very good uh, suitability. Uh, but uh, we also uh, need to uh, pay attention that uh, uh, for the model maker, for industry need to uh, develop, I think, the reasonable adhesion evalu uh, evaluation method to advance uh, lower sewer contact bus bar paste. Right now, uh, if we uh, compare the uh, sewer bus bar, uh, the, the, the uh, sewer contact for bus bar paste, we can see for, for PERC is uh, just and. Uh, 85% or 87%, uh, but for HAD is still higher than 90% sewer contact. There is a big difference. So if we have the uh, reasonable attention evaluation uh, evaluation method, we, uh, it will give uh, paste vendor a lot of room to develop low sewer uh, contact uh, bus bar paste for HAD solutions. And for the connection, so far, we think uh, Super MBB is still a robust way, approach to balance efficiency and lay down. Uh, to advance a, a SMBB adoption, uh, we need to modify our uh, plasma paste uh, more to uh, in to enlarge this uh, soldering window uh, so that the, the yield of for SMBB will be improved in mass production stage. And here we uh, conclude one uh, first one is we uh, from DKM we still think uh, we are still think uh, fine line printing uh, plus super MBB and plus, uh, pattern design will accelerate uh, accelerate lay down seven but maintain robust efficiency reliability for HAD solar cells. This is the first part we uh, 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 sewer paste approach. Then we go to silver coat to copper paste approach to advance HAD uh, metallization. Uh, for this part, we uh, first we need to recognize and to know there are some basic principles that we have to face and have to accept. First is the is the conductivity difference. Uh, copper has uh, has lower uh, con uh, conductivity, that means higher resistivity than uh, sewer. This is the uh, first one. The other effect uh, is uh, copper oxide is insulative, uh, not conductive, but for sewer conductive, uh, sewer oxide is conductive. This is very important uh, if uh, for the for the cell, uh, if you want to, uh, if the cell want to survive uh, during 20 or 30 years. The other one is the sewer migration during uh, uh, water and uh, uh, water and temperature uh, condition. So what I want to highlight here is that uh, these uh, three basic principles we have to face. But uh, for uh, material suppliers and the steel makers, I think uh, we we can further to make some effort to to pr uh, to prevent uh, such damage and uh, to make sure our uh, uh, the, the sales or module uh, contain. Uh, such AG, uh, su such sewer coated uh, copper paste can survive uh, in their lifetime. Uh, that's enough. So uh, we think the right now the reliability uh, uncertainty is still the biggest uh, technology challenge for uh, sewer coated copper paste technology. And right now, I think uh, all the uh, uh, players uh, that are uh, testing sewer coated copper uh, paste or samples. Uh, they are uh, uh, they are doing some uh, reliability testing. Uh, most of them are based on uh, standard IEC criteria, maybe just uh, uh, from the standard TC20 to TC200 uh, TC to TC400, DH1000 to DH3000. Is it enough? Uh, maybe not enough, because uh, if we want to check out the about three uh, basic principles, we may need a high a uh, current uh, uh, testing that may uh, help us to identify the uh, reliability and uh, to overcome such uh, uh, issues or, or improve uh, such issues 
uh, we think the high quality sewer uh, coated copper powder is crucial to the success of uh, this technology. Too. Uh, in DGM, we make some effort to study the how to prepare high quality uh, uh, sewer uh, copper powders. Here is the basic uh, process flow to uh, make uh, sewer copper powder. Uh, first, we have the uh, copper particles, then we uh, use meal method to make a uh, copper flag. Then we use chemical method to, um, uh, to, to coat sewer layers on, on, on copper. But we need to, uh, to know that uh, uh, this sewer, co uh, sewer copper powder is the further processing of uh, copper powder. That means uh, more uh, processes uh, steps and then make, the, uh, make it difficult to get the very consistent quality control. Uh, also, obviously, we will see that the fiber cost uh, for uh, sewer copper powder is much higher than uh, pure sewer powder. Uh, this is also the, uh, the fact we need to know. And here we use the GEM and ET, uh, EFTM to check out the uh, uh, completeness of uh, sewer coating. We can see uh, there's a very, uh, very clear uh, age. This, uh, the, the, this white uh, area is the sewer uh, coating layer. A very clear, uh, a clear interface. Uh, it demonstrates that the uh, copper powder was completely coated by uniform and dense sewer layer. And also we are trying to do some uh, post-coating surface treatment. Uh, what, what we want to do this is to uh, try to improve the oxidation and the sewer uh, um, uh, migration resistance performance. Uh, we want to use our own effort to find some uh, solution to help the industry or help the, uh, the, our uh, powder vendors uh, to get some idea then to, uh, together we can do something to improve or the prevent the, uh, the, the uh, existing uh, damage or existing risk of uh, sewer copper powder. Then we can uh, make a good uh, product to deliver to customers. Uh, Internally, we still uh, do some study uh, on the coating stability and batch to batch variation uh, checking uh, to uh, check out the, uh, the process stability. Uh, this is the uh, uh, DKM internal uh, sewer copper uh, uh, study uh, for your reference. Uh, here we, uh, the, uh, the third one is we want to talk about the new metallization approaches for HAT sources. I think. Uh, here I listed three uh, uh, hot ones, uh, which were widely discussed in market, uh, in industry, and also in capital market. First one is the, the pattern transfer printing. Uh, during the past months, this uh, technology, I think, go back to the stage and uh, 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 draw a lot of attention uh, because we, we still see strong uh, challenge on uh, HAD metallization cost, uh, PTP technology, is one of the potential approaches to uh, to help us. And for this uh, approach, I think uh, you may uh, already know what's the, uh, the, the basic uh, principle. But uh, here I want to highlight is that the uh, this, uh, uh, to be simple, this uh, technology is right now is just a focus on finger uh, painting, uh, not uh, not focus on the bus bar for bus bar steel uh, screen printing technology. And we, uh, need to pay attention on this uh, attention because it's just uh, uh, peeling off from the, the, the substrate, then uh, drop down to the wafer, then go to curing. But for printing technology, we have the pressure, we give the pressure to, to paste. So the attention between uh, paste and uh, substrate uh, tissue surface will uh, much stronger than uh, PTP technology. The other one is how we can make sure that the, the, the the gap in the uh, substrate, uh, polymer substrate was uh, 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 completely filled so that we can get the I mean, continuous finger line. Uh, because otherwise we will- um, You might have to wrap up in two minutes. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So we all have the line breakage if uh, in that case. And smart wire, this is widely discussed and very well known uh, technology. Here I just want to list uh, uh, to say that we can get some idea and concept. We can learn something from a smart wire technology to advance our HAT solid interconnection. For copper plating, 
uh, I think similar case to other uh, corporate technology, reliability still matters. Uh, when we uh, discuss of this, that is the adhesion also issue. Then the, the uh, production throughput is much lower than a printing technology. So uh, to conclude, to get a conclusion, uh, I think the uh, through paste the screen printing technology still dominates the PV metallization run down due to larger throughput, simpler process, uh, uh, bigger fine line potential, and the lower reliability concern. And other uh, new uh, metallizing ap approaches, uh, I think widely discussed, but still need more uh, modifications. And we need to work, uh, make more effort to make it, uh, 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 make it uh, uh, go to a uh, massive production stage. Uh, that's all for my uh, presentation. Here, just a summary. Uh, I think I also covered it in uh, uh, in a uh, presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kevin. So it was really nice you covered the current and the near term and future. What are the possibilities? And and you, as you rightly said, so metallization cannot be. A standalone process, they have to think beyond just the metallization, so integration into integration. You covered nearly everything what one could possibly cover in, in 20 minutes. So thank you very much. You and your presentation was extremely nice. So even I don't have any any questions, but if there are any questions from the audience, it would be great. Uh, um, you can answer them in the chat window. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for this very nice insights into the metallization of hydrojunction. Okay. Okay, so 